Hey everyone and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and in this video it's gonna be a little bit probably unusual. Um, I will show you how to perform maintenance on Apex regulators. This one here is uh, Apex XTX50 uh, that's a side mount regulator with the swivel turtle. I will take you through complete disassembly of this regulator and I will show you step by step uh, how it's uh, how it's done how how the maintenance um, is performed on those regulator. Uh, just to mention I will not replace any components uh, unless I have to uh, because those regulators were just serviced last year and I fully replaced all the components components every second year and every other year I just do the inspection and cleaning. I do follow the Apex uh, maintenance manual so it is uh, quite a bit of precision involved uh, in servicing those regulators, a lot of small components and uh, it is definitely not for everybody it's mostly for the scuba geeks or somebody maybe just uh, if they want to see what's inside the regulator uh, that might be helpful video as well and uh, just to add most of the apex uh, regulators uh, they're built very uh, very similar way and they're using pretty much the same parts i will show you here i have a service kit in case i need any parts uh, for my regulators this is all brand new parts and um, those are not available usually to public i was i, I was able to manage uh, to purchase uh, quite a few of them they're not very easy accessible they usually sold only to the authorized dealer and uh, again you gotta make sure you know what you're doing and you are pre pre pretty technically inclined uh, to handle all this stuff. A lot of small components and uh, small pieces and it is your life support after all so take it to your local dive shop and they will be able to service it for you properly. Um, this is just uh, my recommendations. The second regulator I use is the Apex XTX that's a similar to XTX 200 and this one here it's a black sapphire and this one here is a 40th uh, anniversary limited edition so there was probably only about uh, 5,000 of them made the worldwide so this is a pretty unique regulator and uh, um, a very high-end uh, regulator top performance and that thing is built pretty much the same way as the XTX50 except uh, this regulator doesn't have the swivel turtle because uh, this is not a side mount regulator and both of my regulators are DIN uh, you might see some of them that they come with the yoke adapters um, I prefer to use the DIN if you are new to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button if you will have any value in my content at all and uh, hit the like button on a video and drop the comment down below um, this is strictly for my personal use I will share with you though how the maintenance is done so without further ado let's jump into this video so we will start by taking all the accessories and hoses out of there And very important thing is that you put stuff in order back after. So I always line up my parts uh, one by one as they come out of the regulator. So first I'll take off my second stage. I'll take off the SPG inflator hose and transmitter. I can't state enough uh, to make sure to keep your service area clean. Uh, you don't want any particles or dirt 
going into your parts well before cleaning it's not that big of a deal but after you assemble anything make sure you have a like fresh paper towels or something uh, that you're working on because you don't want any debris going inside your uh, first stage so now I have it all taken off so the first step would be to remove all your blanking hole uh, plugs and that's a five millimeter allen key so next step uh, you want to make sure to remove all your o-rings uh, and inspect everything before you put it back together and i'm using a dental tool pick to remove those be very careful not to pinch any hole in them this is uh, one of the tools that uh, is required to take your um, balance plug assembly and a lot of other parts uh, of the regulator it's a specialty tool some regulators will look uh, will use the allen key six millimeters uh, for example my uh, sapphire but this one here i'm just using a wrench uh, to remove the turret There is a tiny o-ring inside there and another o-ring right here. Still look pretty clean. So next thing you want to remove the sealed system. Uh, you may need a spanner. This is a specialty spanner and this is a 42 40 uh, 40 to 42 i'll remove the bottom part of the balance plug assembly because that's gonna separate anyway so inside here there's another o-ring take that out and on top you got an o-ring and a plastic and a plastic uh, washer And there is a little protective uh, cup on top. And since I already have it in a vise, I will remove a uh, dry uh, assembly. So that part of the regulator inside sits dry. There shouldn't be any water in there ever. So I just loosened up that uh, piston there and here you have one cup. So inside there is your intermediate pressure adjustment screw. So if you take that out you have to make the adjustment afterwards. Your 
your spring. And I do take the adjustment screw right out of there for cleaning purposes. So now inside here, there's a few more pieces. You gotta be really careful not to pinch anything while you're doing this. to remove your DIN or yoke, whatever connection type you have on your regulator from the master, from the whole enclosure. First you want to start with removing um, the o-ring that seals the DIN to your scuba tank. every component inside here there's a conical filter uh, which you want to remove as well and inspect if not change it mine is still looking like new so and there's an o-ring on top of it so that takes you to completion of disassembly of your first stage. So next step is to put all the parts, all the non-sealing uh, parts such as rubbers and plastic, you don't want those in the ultrasonic cleaner and uh, clean it well, um, make sure all the debris and the grease from the previous stuff is uh, wiped. So first I'll do, I'll do wipe some uh, uh, crystal loop out of there So another thing um, I usually don't service all my regulators at the same time um, Especially my side side mount kit um, for this one. I'll do I'll service one regulator and then uh, I do a dive and then after the dive, I will service the other regulator. For the reason, if anything ever went wrong, I do use side mount, so I have my second uh, regulator always as a backup. Just to be safe, it's better to service them uh, separately if, if I'm doing it myself. Um, as much as I know everything is done right, but uh, that gives me additional peace of mind that um, everything is fine and safe this way because I know my regulators worked for the longest time, right? I service and clean all my stuff once a year. So the next step would be putting all your components in uh, ultrasonic cleaner. I set the temperature of the so solution for uh, 35 degrees and I run the ultrasonic cleaner for about 20 minutes and all I'm using for my solution is just uh, Dove, uh, Dove dish soap and uh, water mixture. I don't use any other chemicals. You can also use the vinegar if you want to, but uh, I find uh, just the dish soap, just good enough job. Double check if you don't have any O-rings in there. You don't want to keep uh, O-rings in uh, warm water. I also don't put any plastics in there uh, either just the metal components. The plastic I clean it manually by hand.
while everything was sitting in uh, ultrasonic cleaner, I, in the meanwhile, I lubricated uh, all the O-rings and cleaned all my other connections. And uh, now I will take this and r rinse it all with the warm water uh, so there's no soap on it. Then wipe it uh, clean and leave it to dry before the assembly. Just make sure to clean all your threads. Everything is nice and pristine condition and it's time to reassemble everything together but before I do that I let it sit and let it completely dry off for another 5-10 minutes at least so there's no additional moisture inside the regulator we don't want that inside there so first I will assemble the DIN fitting connection
So now you got pretty much the first stage fully assembled. Before you put the rest of it, you want to adjust uh, the intermediate pressure and the proper pressure for that regulator is between 130 and 145 PSI. I usually keep it on a lower end uh, for the cold water diving. So the next step would be attaching your first stage to, to completely filled uh, scuba tank and gently open the valve and blow possibly all the debris that could be still in uh, uh, first stage. So that's before I put all the cups and plugs in and I touch all my hardware on a regulator. So now I will install all my plugs. Then I put the, then I put the transmitter on. And on the other side my SPG. and then attach my second stage. And not to forget the inflator hose. I did lubricate all the O-rings uh, when everything was uh, in an ultrasonic cleaner so and clean, cleaned the fittings as well. And I will attach my gauge to check my intermediate pressure before I assemble the top part of the regulator. Slowly pressurize your tank and a valve. So I have fully opened the tank and now I will make the adjustment for my intermediate pressure. The intermediate pressure uh, on my regulators uh, should be between 130 and 145. I will keep it probably around 135 uh, to be safe. If anything, I can always adjust it. For the cold water, it's better always to keep it on the lower end. So I am sitting at 140 right now and watch the gauge so the pressure doesn't creep on you make sure you have no leaks Ten, 20 30 i'm at 130 right now A little bit higher because it's creeping to below 130. So we should be good at this point. I'm sitting at uh, 135, maybe a little bit lower. Okay, I got it where I want it 132. 
so that's pretty much uh, set and I can put the top uh, cap on and the regulator has no any leaks so the pressure is holding steady and uh, it's good uh, it's gonna be good to test it on a dive and hopefully I'll go down diving on Thursday and we'll check it out how it performs and after the dive I will service the second one so I will also show you uh, how to finish it up and put on the top components on the uh, regulator to finish it off now I will put the inspection sticker on top of it this way I know when that regulator was completed on this uh, in, uh, cleaning I just cleaned everything re-lubricated re it and uh, didn't replace any parts as everything was still good it was done last year about the same time so I will just add the sticker on it with today's date which is November 15 all right now you put that in there And that stuff does not have to be tightened extremely tight it's just uh, snag tight uh, so don't force nothing you don't want to break anything on there the inspection and service is complete on my apex xtx 50 all right so the regulators are serviced and they are ready for a dive and I will state it again, if you are not confident in the work, because uh, this is your life support, don't do it. Take it to your authorized dealer and uh, they will be able to service it for you. There's your local scuba shops where you purchase your regulators. They can perform uh, excellent work and uh, those people are certified to do this kind of job. We'll state that over and over again just to make sure that um, nobody's trying to attempt something uh, beyond their uh, limitations, uh, what they can do. Because once you're underwater, you don't want to take any risk. So thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed the content and you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. That always means a lot to me. And at the same time, you can check out my other videos with I will link here on the end cards uh, about the scuba gear that I use and uh, you can check out my dives uh, down in Mexico in Dominican Republic browse through my channel uh, maybe there will be something uh, you like and uh, come back for the next video when I will be servicing the second stage which is probably gonna come in a week after this uh, now I gotta sit down and edit all the content and uh, I will show you how to service that second stage take it apart I will not be servicing and replacing the parts uh, they were done last year so this time I'll be doing just a cleaning and uh, hopefully uh, that will help some of you scuba gigs thank you for watching and come back next week cheers